anything you know about the Fry Boot Company? The Fry Boot Company? Yeah. I don't know anything about the Fry Boot Company. Is there anything that you can tell me about the Fry Boot Company? It's like started here, I think, in Marlboro. Um, yeah. Is there anything that you can tell me about the Fry Boot Company? Not really, no. <laughs> is there anything that you can tell me about the Fry Boot Company? What is that? <laughs> I've never heard of that in my life, honestly. Oh, With an I, and it's Stankovic, as T A N K O V I C H. And when did you start working at Fry? 1972. Okay. And when did you stop working at Fry, and why? 1975, and only because they didn't give me a five dollar increase. Oh, okay. Uh, why did you choose to work at Fry? A friend of mine talked me into it. Oh, really? Yeah. And you just decided all went after that? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, what was your experience at Fry? I think one of my greatest experience was organizational skills. Okay. So, what was my... I didn't have secretarial skills at all. And that was good because it required no secretarial skills. Mm -hmm. And... I just wanted another job. And you enjoyed your experience at Fry? Loved it. Loved it. I loved it because Mr. Ireland was it the nicest man you could ever possibly work for. And when the salespeople weren't around, he would have his break time, lunch time, all with his employees on the second floor. Oh. That's awesome. Yeah, I've not seen it since. I've seen very few group level managers or vice presidents that sit with all of their employees. If the stitching was off a thousandth of an inch, mm -hmm. they would give it to their employees for six dollars or nine dollars, depending on how, uh, well, let's say the man's short boot was one of the most expensive. Mm -hmm. Because it was a zip-up boot, and it was, you know, just below the pant leg. Uh, no, above the pant leg, sorry. Um, but that, to me, is a real true company that wants to include all of the employees on what is going on. This is a baby's boot. They always stamp their name okay. on the bottom. Oh, wow. So you knew you had a fry. Yep. Nobody knew that about it. The about wonderful it. thing that they did, people that had one leg, mm -hmm. um, the armed services which needed steel toes. Mm -hmm. They also made the nap safety shoes. We had their labels that we used to stitch in Is the Is there boots. anything else that you'd want to share? No, it was just a, it was a wonderful company to work for because people really felt like they could contribute and they got rewarded as they went along. Ralph, Lung, Ralph W. Lungstrom. Okay. I was there for six months. My, my, my boss told, told me if I vote for the union, like, I'm fired. So I said, okay, I vote for union. I, I worked in the, on, the, on, the top, on the top floor. Okay. The, the fifth floor, and boy, it was just hot up there. <laughs> we, had a, we, had a, yeah, we had every air conditioner and anything going on year round. That's wow. how hot it was up there. What did you do on the top floor? I, well, I, I put the I put the vents in for the um for the shoes. They came out of the machine like they came out of the machine came out of the machine like that. I sold you know, it back down. Any like other that. stories? Any experiences that you had at Fry that you'd like to tell me about? Uh, I just wish I stayed there. Wish I, I just wish I stayed there longer than after <laughs> six months. That was a pig. Even though it was, uh, yeah, it was really hot up there. You get with the pig. Is there anything else that you'd like job. to tell me about Fry? Anything? Um, hmm. That you'd like people to know about Fry? Well, they make good boots, that's for sure. <laughs>